Hi, this is John Cardelli and I'm with Terry Lowe. We're both Rotarians and we're going to talk tech on how to bring together a hybrid meeting and the technology that you'll need. Also, there is a buy list that's available and that's going to be made available with a link at the end of this. So we just want to show it to you and this would be for a large club meeting where you have people that are in the room and let's say there's 10, 15, 20, 30 people that are in the room for an in-person meeting and you may have a similar number of people, 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever, on Zoom and and you want to bring it all together without the feedback loops that you may be experiencing as you're trying to do this and have the sound mixed uniformly between Zoom and the room so we can bring a meeting together and try to make it as three-dimensional for everybody as possible. Typically when people did Zoom, everybody had a level playing field. They're all on the same screen. Now people are live and in person. How do we do it? We're going to show you how. So typically in the current large room meeting, much of the equipment that you see here already exists. What do you have in your meetings? You've brought your laptop for your PowerPoint. You probably have a projector and you have a screen or you've got something for a big screen TV that you're gonna be using as well. You also have a microphone system. The microphone in this case happens to be a wireless microphone in the system. That was already in the room here at the Hilton where we're filming this. You might have a corded system. Either one works just fine. What we've added that's different is that we've needed a new piece of equipment, which in this case is a mixer. It's a Harbinger L8028 channel mixer, and that just happens to be one of many that could be used. It's one that I chose uh, for this demonstration. It actually retails for $79, so it's a simple system. But if you go into some uh, restaurants or meeting rooms, they might already have what's called a mixer or a soundboard, in which case this wouldn't need to be purchased. You just need the additional cables to get to the computer to be able to link the sound together. So in your old system, you ran the microphone directly into the wall or into the powered speakers. Now you're going to run the microphone through the mixer, and that's what we've done here. So as Terry gets up close, you can see the cord comes from the microphone, and it's going into this balanced input jack number one, and I can control treble, bass, sound, gain, all the different levels right here with the mixer. So this is what's going to control the sound that both goes to the room as well as the sound that is heard by those on Zoom. What we've added now is then an output and this is a main out and it's a one quarter inch balanced cord to an XLR that goes into the wall. So very simple. You've seen these connections goes into the wall, or if you have a powered speaker, you plug it into the back of your powered speaker. And now you've got the sound in the room live. How about our friends on Zoom? How we get to that is that now we have an auxiliary cable. This auxiliary cable is a quarter inch, again, balanced auxiliary that goes through and it goes into a mic input in a USB device and for some you can actually look and you'll find USB-C devices as well. You may need to try one or two, maybe three. I found with two I was able to find one that worked with my system. Please be patient with yourself. We're going to make some recommendations. Most of them work. If it doesn't, just trade it in and get something else. Very simple but it's a USB sound interface card. Here's two that work just fine. And so you've got the microphone in, and so now the sound in the room, the volume of the sound is auxiliary, it now goes into the microphone in, and that is now what is heard by the Zoomers. They are now hearing everybody in the room based on what's on the microphone. How about when you speak on Zoom? That's going to come through the headphones because Zoom is on. We've got a host computer. Everything is running through the primary host computer right here. And so we've got this. I can put it on gallery view. And so the sound comes out of the headphone jack. It basically says microphone here and then it's going to be headphones there. And that's what we've done here. The headphone comes in and I've run that cord, these two quarter inch from a one eighth into, in this case, channels five and six. Left and right, you can control treble and volume and control the volume. So what has just happened here through this system? Sound from the microphone into the room, it goes to the speakers and it goes through and it goes to those on Zoom. Through the auxiliary, this control controls the volume for the Zoomers, 
It goes through, and this is what the people on Zoom can hear the sound in the room. When people on Zoom speak, it now comes out of the headphone jack. It goes through into this channel. You can now control the volume of the Zoomers in the room. The people on Zoom can be controlled, and that mix is brought from the microphone mix and the Zoom mix to the main house mix. See how that can go up and down? And by using these four controls, you now can control the level of the sound so that it's balanced. They, of course, can control on their computer or their phone the level of the sound, but as they speak in the mic, it's going to be from home or wherever they are. It'll go through the mixer, and now the meetings are combined. And so this is the key part. This can be done for basically a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars worth of, of equipment to be able to add or if you already have a mixer just adding the cables and the adapters to bring it into the meeting. The reason I have the second computer here is we've got the video going out of a second computer in which case as you can see I can have one computer on speaker view and then the room computer is on gallery view which means everybody that's in the room if you're looking up there you can see is in gallery and that means that if there's 25 people on zoom we can have 25 boxes up there and we can see everybody on zoom the people in the room don't need to see the speaker so when you're at home you would see the speaker on speaker view with the slide presentation and so the people in the room don't need to see the speaker they're sta the speaker is standing in front of them at the podium and so now everyone is able to experience it live here just like you would and they're able to see everyone at home on zoom they're in the meeting at the same time and then the people in the room are able to see you and the people in the room are able to see the speaker and so this is how it's brought together and the sound is brought together at the same time so now that we've run everything through the system here and you've got the sound uniformly connected within the room. There's just two settings here to make sure that they're, that they're set. So let me show you this. If you go to the audio settings, this is now your microphone, which is on a USB device. Typically when you've done it at home, it's just been the built-in microphone. You set everything to USB. This is set to USB, the speakers. So now if we test the speakers in the room, you got this you're testing the speaker. So now I'm using the microphone in the room and the microphone in the room is being used instead of the microphone on the computer. This is what's bringing everything together. We've got the microphone here running through the room. It's running through the Zoom. All the sound from Zoom is coming through the microphone in. It's integrated and we have everyone together in one meeting simply because we added a mixer and several cables and a sound interface USB card to the equipment that you already have. This is what makes it possible. And then based on the number of people that want to volunteer, you can do it with one computer and a podium computer with the video on, sound off. You can have an iPhone as a webcam so that you can show the people in the room to the people at home. And if you want to be able to change the views on the screen, add this third computer and now you have your technician changing it and they're able to then determine whether it's going to be gallery view or whether you want to see speaker view in the room. It gives you options. Count on several meetings to get the hang of it and give yourself a lot of grace and be patient and let it be fun. Let's see what hybrid makes possible. All the best to you as we talk tech.